Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us today at the policy seminar here at IFPRI. I'm Rajul Pandya Loach. I'm Chief of Staff and Head of the 2020 Vision Initiative and a very lucky person to have a chance to chair the seminar today. We have three audiences with us today, so I'd like to remind you. We have the audience right here in the room with us. We have an audience that is joining us virtually as we uh, live cast this event. And we have an audience that will be joining us in the days, weeks, months, and years to come through video. So welcome to all of these audiences. We all know very well that global food security is under pressure. We all know very well that promoting agricultural growth and in particular smallholder productivity will be key for addressing the food security and nutrition challenges in front of us. And we all know that there's no one magic bullet. Um, we need different types of investments, different types of technologies, different types of policies, different ways to um, work our way through the value chain and different approaches at the end of the day to reach the different and vulnerable group of people around the world. The integration of nanotechnology into food and agriculture presents one such opportunity for increasing yields and improving the product quality and thereby making agriculture more efficient, more accessible and making nutrition uh, nutritional improvements more viable for many different people. However, translating this technology to smallholder farmers is not easy. If it were easy, we would not be here. And it is precisely that we are here to discuss how to move from concepts to realities, how to take advantage, how to overcome some of the challenges that lie in front of us, how to understand the various risks and how to overcome, and essentially how to take advantage and realize the different opportunities that lie in front of us. We have a wonderful panel of three speakers who will help us understand these various constraints, opportunities, and how to realize them. We have a, a panel of three speakers. Our first speaker is Graham Gruer, who is a research fellow here at IFPRI in the Environment and Production Technology Division, where his work focuses on marketing and trade-related regulations of the products of agricultural biotechnology. He is the author of a policy brief that I hope all of you have picked up copies of. He's a co-author of a policy brief on agriculture and food and water nanotechnologies. If you have not picked up the brief, I invite you to do so as you leave. Our second speaker joins us from Princeton. He is Winston Sobayejo, who is a professor of mechanical and aerospace engineering at the Princeton University. He is also the director of the US Africa Materials Institute and the Director of the Undergraduate Research Program at the Princeton Institute of Science and Technology of Materials. We appreciate that you took the time to come down and join us. And um, we have our third speaker who will join us virtually. Our third speaker is Alberto de Campos Bernardi, who is a soil fertility researcher with Embrapa Brazil. He will be joining us through video and will talk about some of the results of a natural nanozeolite application. Before I turn over to our speakers, um, I'd just like to remind you that following their uh, presentations, we will have a Q&A or a comment or discussion session with you so that there will be a chance to interact with our speakers, including our speaker who joins us virtually. And our speakers are well aware that they will save some of their remarks also for the Q&A so that we will have a rich discussion. So without further ado, I'd like to call upon our first speaker, Guilliam, to set the stage and walk us through some of the key issues before we turn to our two other experts. Guilliam, thank you very much. <laughs> 